on the last episode of Pretty and Paid. What's pop, lock, and dropping, honeys? In my last episode, I gave y'all a speech about self-love. I cleaned up my room. We had a girl talk in the car about being loved properly. I acted up in my closet. I got in a fight with a ghost. They tried to jump me, but you know I handled up. I also decided to have a movie night with my dogs. I've really been enjoying my own company lately. If you want to know what's coming up next, let's get into this new episode. Yeah. This pussy got power. Stay in it for hours. Yeah, I get what I want. He don't tell me no. These bitches, they hate me. These niggas, they love me. Why I dropped out of school, I guess you could say. I didn't really drop out. I honestly just felt like, I know it's sad to say, I felt like I was too good for it. And I just kind of looked around at everyone and I had to realize, what am I doing here? <laughs> like, I, what am I doing here? This is a waste of my time and my money. And a lot of people don't realize you don't have to work in your business to work on your business. You feel me? And then what I'm going to be doing is, for instance, the owner of some of these clubs out here, a lot of them didn't start off as bartenders or waiters or, you know, anything of the sort. You don't have to be a bartender or a waiter or a whatever bartender, whatever jobs are available in the clubs. You don't have bought a girl. You don't have to be any of those things in order to own a club. You have to have you have to know business. And I had to realize I was talking to a lot of business owners, people that actually own buildings. You know, like buildings that you go and apply a job to go work inside of that building. I know the people that own the building. And so they're basically letting me know like I'm right about what I'm saying about how I'm feeling. Like basically, I'm not a worker. I'm a boss and I have influence and I know how to run a business and I know business, I'm very business savvy so I don't need to be working in my business. I don't need to be trying to be a massage therapist in order to own a massage lounge. I can hire massage therapists, I can hire pedicurists, I can hire bartenders because I own the, I own the establishment. And that is what I need to focus on is, oh wait, I have to get over this way. That is what I need to focus on. But yeah, girl, basically that's that. I, I decided that it wasn't, I was, it wasn't for me. I was not where, I'm, where I was supposed to be. And it took me to do that, to realize sometimes you don't make the right moves and that's okay well, if you realize that that's even better because then you get to fix it bitch go all of y'all go ain't no cars coming let's go let's move we got stuff to do i gotta work all my business and i can't work all my business if i'm working within my business i can't i can't because it's not even just that if, if it was if i was just gonna have maybe just a massage lounge it was just like mas massage therapists only and I wanted to be one of the massage therapists that was working on people, then yeah, I would go back and get some more certifications. But I'm not gonna be working on people. People are gonna be working on people for me. People are gonna be working, in a sense, for me, basically. I'm not trying to sound any like obnoxious way, but I'm trying to own a facility that's fun where beautiful women can come work and meet celebs, men, high value men, men of status. Poppy's Paradise. So basically, you know, I'm gonna have the massage tables, the pedicure station, the bar, the whole spa feel downtown. It's gonna be dope. And then upstairs is gonna have. You, I love arcades. Arcade is literally my my happy my happy place. But I've been to arcades that are in movie theaters. I've been to arcades that are in you know different type of facilities. I've never been in an arcade that's in a spa. Have you? Never. So I decided and to combine the two. I love do. I mean, I've been a massage therapist for a very long time. I've made a lot of money doing that. And then also, I love the arcade. So I decided to combine the two. And upstairs, I'm gonna have hookah. I'm gonna have two bowling lanes, arcade games. People are gonna be smoking the hookah. I might have like a little um cigar lounge and you know downstairs massage tables pedicure stations the bar the infrared sauna it's gonna be dope 
it's gonna be like a club feel and it's gonna it's basically gonna be targeted towards obviously high value men and anybody in the LGBT community like lesbians bisexuals anybody studs anybody that really just appreciates being pampered by a bad bitch Poppy's Paradise, a place where you can go and get pampered by baddies. That might be my little slogan right there. But yeah, so that's really why I decided not to go to school anymore. I had already paid for the time that I was there. And I was like, I'm not paying for this. I'm not about to pay for this shit. I'm not paying $1,500 a month for this. I don't need to be here. But y'all could definitely stay and then when you're done i would love for some of y'all to come work for me i don't need a massage i don't need to keep getting certified in massage therapy in, in order to run a, in order to own a building you feel me some people of course probably just still don't won't understand that or whatever but yeah it's not for me <sighs> what's popping honeys I'm sitting here at my desk, you know, being a business, trying to be a businesswoman again. <laughs> Not again. I don't even know why I just said it again. Um, ooh, ooh. It was popping, honeys. So I'm here at my desk. Where all the magic happens, you know. Girl, at this point, Modelo is literally going to sponsor me. Where all the magic happens. Got my mic. Had that forever. Y'all know I paint too sometimes. The studio lights. My different cameras. I have all different type of cameras that I use. My gimbals, my stands. Chargers, batteries, equipment, 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 equipment. I bought this cute, this case. I actually got this from Goodwill. Um, I, I mean, it's a good briefcase. I mean, it's leather and it was only like $3. And I keep all of my cords in it. I put my laptop in here. I needed, I wanted a case, even though it's like totally falling apart. I don't really care. Because uh, it's just a laptop case. It's nothing that needs to be super fancy. But I put my laptop in there. My lights when I need it. I'll put um, equipment in there. And then I also like this briefcase because it comes with... Um, put my light, my mic over there. My mic's in the way. But it comes with these slots for files. It comes with like a little file folder. Which I really like. Um... I like keep important papers, you know, like my birth certificate and just other important papers, Cairo's papers, my stalker papers. I keep these on me, literally, um, because we never know when he's going to try to pop up. I need proof all day, every day on me that I have a stalker. I've got a couple of them, but only one that's made themselves so known. Um, but yeah, this is my little desk. I want to give me a new chair. Ooh. I want to get me a new chair, but I'm just going to keep this chair for now. It's not really a problem. I'm downloading footage right now. I'm getting ready to... Um, oh, it already all downloaded. Cool. But, you know, I want different cameras. Hmm. Oh, this one's already fully charged for sure. My cameras, plus the one that I'm on now. Um, I love these cameras. I'm so happy that I found and decided to invest in different 
cameras. Um, and that's the thing, like, it doesn't really matter. Well, obviously it matters what type of camera you get. Um, but it's the person that's behind the camera. Because even if you go buy you a $2,000 camera, buy one of the cameras that I have, or, you know, your favorite YouTuber. Sorry, my screen was a little blurry before. Um, it doesn't really matter if you go and buy your favorite YouTuber's cameras. It's all about the person behind the camera. If you know how to work your camera and, you know, how to, how to capture the moments that you're trying to capture. Because, you know, not every, everybody, you know, can't just pull out a camera and talk to it and attract people's attention. Um, so you definitely have to know what you're doing with your camera. That's what matters the most is the person behind the camera. But yeah, I love my little space. It just, I love being in this area with all my stuff. I love stuff. I have an obsession with having stuff. Obviously because, you know, I've been broke before. and haven't been broke in a long time, but I've been broke before and I never want to experience that again. So I've always made sure that I have everything for myself that I need in order to be not like stuff makes me feel complete. Well, it kind of does, I guess. In a way, um, everybody has voids that they feel, whether it's with people, with food, with items, with purses, with handbags, with makeup, with beer. <laughs> and me, I love electronics. Um, I've always been a leader, and I don't know, I've, I've always been a sentimental person. So I've just always been the type to um, want to capture the moment and just because a lot of my memories from my childhood have been stolen from me in a sense of I don't have any of my things from my childhood obviously because they're with my mother. I like to now I want to capture as many memories as I can in my adult life and keep those with me because I have very few sentimental things from my childhood um, since I don't have a relationship with my family so I try to make as many memories as possible and the best way to do that is by capturing it on camera. Obviously, you know, growing up being a millennial baby, all this stuff is, you know, seeing the transition from the can, like the 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 cameras, the disposable cameras that we used to go get for our mom. You know, that you just click it and you take the film up there to the store and they print it out for you, all your pictures, or the waterproof cameras that we used to have. You know, back in the '90s, growing up and stuff. So um, now you have like actual waterproof cameras that like capture footage and then you have you know you just all type of different cameras and just like different stuff so I just love having stuff like look at all the stuff I got I got chargers I got cameras I got different type of cameras I got microphones I got stands I got gimbals I got lights I got just all type of stuff and I just be loving it I got dogs bitch I got three of them look Uno, dos, where he at? Trace. You see, look how good it is. And the cool thing about this is I can take care of all of them. <laughs> I can take care of all of them. I can handle everything that's on my plate. That is the beauty of the life that I am creating for myself is that I can handle this shit. A lot of people create a life that they can literally not handle. I can handle this. So I think that's dope, first of all. Um, my mother would for sure be proud. If we had a relationship with each other, she would sure, for sure be proud. That's the thing, I don't really need validation. I know God is proud of me just by the way he keeps blessing me. Like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, girl. What's pop, lock, and drop in? So it is Monday, about like 2.30 p.m. Excuse my face. I do have on like a little mask. I had a little bit of a breakout going on. So I put this on there. Um, girl, I just got back from out of town, from my home away from home, and I'm cleaning up, and I'm about to have a maintenance day, because my nails, girl, look, child, 
They are atrocious right now. So, I'm going to go get my nails done, get my toes done. I'm going to take my extensions out and let my hair sit for a while and just be natural. And I'm also going to probably do a little bit of my lashes, do a little light lash, take my dogs to the park. I'm going to clean up the balcony and get Omara's pool set up because it is getting hot outside. And then I'm going to go grocery shopping and edit some footage and do some work. Um, make a few phone calls. And yeah, girl, so... Let's get to it. <laughs> I'm going to set up this pool right here for her. And get all this clean. I already cleaned up some of this. I need to clean up that little spot right there. Shit. Throw this away. able to set up my dog's pool like I wanted to um, because where you uh, um, let the water out there's like a little screw part and I let the water out obviously last summer and for some reason I don't know where I put the screw piece to basically lock the water in the pool so girl I think I have to buy her a whole new pool or try to find a cap to put on there. I'm kind of upset about it because I really wanted to. It's Papa Cairo, he probably don't want to be touched. One of my dogs is probably touching him. Papa Cairo, picky about being touched. He don't like everybody touching him, it's really weird. But um, it's like you disturbing his peace. She touched you, Papa. She touched you. Tell her, quit touching me, leave me alone. No, I'm sexy. But yeah, so I'm kind of upset because I really wanted to set her pool up so she can go sit in it and whatnot. But I cleaned up the living room. 
It's nice and clean. I just got back. I took down the roses because they were dead. So now, girl, I am about to go get my nails and my toes done. I know I look a hot mess. I'm wearing my little, um, oh, girl, put it there. I look a hot mess. This is like my little clean up around the house outfit, girl. Nothing special. But, um, yeah, girl. It's cute, though. It's like a little sherbet, little two piece. I got it from some little boutique. It's nothing special, though. Cute. But let me go ahead and get ready to. Oh, girl, excuse me. Get ready to go and. I'm gonna go ahead and go get my nails done, get my toes done, stop by a beauty supply store and grab some lashes, possibly stop like at a little clothing store and get me some new summer clothes and some sundresses because it's getting hot outside and then go grocery shopping. I'm thinking about going to Sprouts this time because I always go to Kroger's and um, I just wanna go to see what kind of stuff Sprouts has because I never go there. And, uh, that's the, oh, and then I'm gonna take my dogs to the lake. I know they wanna go on a good walk. So I'm gonna go get my nails done, all this shit, run my errands, and then come back and take the babies out. And then while I'm doing all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue remover in my hair. That way, by the time I get back, well, by the time I take them and come back, I'll be all sweaty and stuff, cause we'll be at the lake. And I can take a shower. These will fall right out. Put my, my little, you know, hot oil treatment in my hair and then get to editing my vlog and just chill, smoke some herb, drink some drink, and wait for my guy to get back. I'm headed to find me a nail shop. Well, I'm not finding a nail shop. <laughs> I'm headed to BFL, to the hood, where it's good, to get my nails done. My guy, Ryan, hasn't texted me back yet. So, girl, ooh, I'm just gonna pop up and um see who's available i hope he's available when i get there but i definitely want to get that done first because it's going to take the longest well not really i'm getting short nails again all short white short white short toes short white toes and then from there the ooh, look at him he got him a new car check him out he got what a bmw that's good that means he's been working hard I honestly should have woke up way earlier, but I was cuddled up, girl. But it's okay. I'm out now getting it done. I really should have. But I have to stop at the smoke shop. I don't have any backwoods. I don't have any papers. Look, you don't have anything. So didn't have anything to roll up with, so. I was like, I'm just going to smoke my little joint for now. And then, um, oh shit, fuck a vet. I am not going that way. Oh, I should've took the back streets. Oh my goodness, traffic is hell. Obviously, it's 525. <sighs> I was not thinking, like, literally at all. I was not thinking. I just literally turned and got on this fucking highway. So, let me try to exit real quick. And, um, get on the back roads. This is not going to work out. I am not. Why did I even go this way? Oh, I just really want to get my nails done before they close. And I know they're going to do a good job, per usual. I got to exit up here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in front of this car. And they really don't have no choice but to let me get up in front of them. Because where are you going to go? It's traffic everywhere. And I'm not going to stop at a place that I don't know to get my nails and toes done because I have definitely learned my lesson from doing that. It does never go in my favor. My nails and toes always end up looking like I should have did them myself. Like the old nail shop I used to go to, never going back. Like, why do my nails look like this? I mean, of course, it's been two weeks, but like they're all breaking. And it's my real nail under here that's breaking. She didn't put a thick enough acrylic. Or I don't know what she did, but I don't know why they're all chipping. Like, and I didn't even get I didn't even get two days worth of my manicure and pedicure. And girl, I did a chargeback. I sure did. 
sure did and the only reason why I did a charge back was because it happens every single time it's not like oh once or twice you know my nail chip the second day I left or whatever and had to go back up there no it happens almost every single time she lets her mother or whoever the older lady is do my toes and like and then she did my nails this time so I can't even say it's just her it must be both of you you both don't take your job seriously which is why y'all are the only two people working here and which is why this is a hole in the wall nail shop that nobody comes to I see why you don't get business like that I was trying to be you know tipping and stuff always being a regular customer I like going there because it's ducked off and no one goes there they got their little red and white wine or whatever you know and so I just like to go there but girl you think I didn't bring my gun it's okay my nose are short I got his hands you know. I don't care how nice you are. I'm not paying you to be nice to me. I'm paying you to do your job. So this is why I need my gun because you never know what's gonna go down in Dallas, Texas, girl. And girl, I've been so ducked off. I have not been talking to anybody but my guy, literally. And the reasoning is I don't need no distraction, any distractions. Like we were outside all 2022. I was outside with y'all all 2022. Let's take a break. Like. Go focus on yourself. I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to focus on myself. I don't want to be around them, all my friends, all the time doing the same thing every day and not evolving in life. Like, we had a great 2022. We were outside every day. Let's retreat back to ourselves and work on ourselves. And we'll meet each other at the top. But consistently always needing to be around people and needing company, sometimes, did they just really just throw that shit out the window? I hate when people litter because it's just like, how? You just can't really wait till you go see a trash can? Whole Sonic bags. But anyway. We need space. Not even just we need space. How do you, how can you evolve in life if you're hanging out with the, with people that are not evolving in life? Like, how are you going to evolve? You have to be around people who are evolving and then not even motivating you, inspiring you, inspiring you that it can happen for you too, that you can also evolve as a person. So, yeah, like I have no beef with none of my friends or, you know, my whatever. I have no, like, no beef. It's just like, you know, I want more out of life. I want to get a new car. I want to, you know, start this um, business that I've been wanting to start forever. And I'm finally focused on that, opening my massage lounge. You know what I mean? Like, I'm finally focused on one thing and one thing only. And I can't let nobody distract me or fuck that up. I'm hoping it's not going to be busy up here. Because I really just want to hang out by myself and, like, nobody talk to me. You know what I mean? Y'all don't ever be in that mood where you just don't want to be talked to. I'm like that sometimes. I just like, don't talk to me. Just leave me alone. Can I be in like complete silence? Just, you know, I guess it's a cancer thing, but I mean, it's working for me. I've been making so much more money since I've been off the internet. And then I've also been super focused, you know, not dealing with people who are not like doing anything. Like girls that are just outside looking for a new trick every day. That's cool. I used to, I used to be on that. You know what I mean? But it, I have to realize now I'm above that. You know, I'm going, I'm, I'm trying to go a different direction in my life because I'm getting older as we all are going to be doing soon. I'm not, I'm still in my 20s. I got to utilize these, the 20s that I have left. That way in my 30s, my foundation is, is stable. And then also, you know, dating and stuff i want to have something to offer other than just a pretty face i don't want to just have a pretty face and not really be on nothing i've been in complete solitude i haven't been talking to anybody i haven't been sharing my energy and what i mean with anybody i mean friends um obviously you know I'm dating someone right now who I'm satisfied with, so I'm not really outside looking for a no net, like looking for men. But I feel like it's very important to seclude yourself from distractions. Like tw 2022, I was outside every single day with this new friend group that I met. And you know, I'm glad that I met them honestly because they showed me that I wasn't socializing as much as I did well I wasn't socializing in a way I didn't know that I could you know I'm, I'm 
so used to being alone. I've never really had friends like that other than in like in high school and middle school. After that, I kind of was a lone ranger, like a lone wolf for real. And socializing with women was always very weird for me because my sisters were my first friends and they weren't good ones. And then, you know, I, you have my mother who wasn't really present in my life after 15. So dealing with women was a weird thing for me. So making friends in 2022 was the first time I've ever done that. Had so many women, you know, as friends in my life. And it was cool. Like, I really, like, appreciate the experience. Of course, I see why I stick to my state to myself. Because it's so much drama. Like, there's a lot of people that I separated myself from, cut off or just don't talk to and the people that are my friends now who I don't have any issues with they're of course some of them maybe have been feeling some type of way because I just don't text them back I don't answer their text messages and there's no beef but I don't but when I'm in complete solitude I don't have an obligation to text anybody back we're friends and if you're my friend you will understand that that right now I'm working on myself and I'm focusing on myself so I can be a better person, not even a better person, so I can have more assets, more money, more legit things in my future. So right now I'm taking a step back and focusing on what I really wanna do in life. And it's making me so much money and I'm glad I finally decided to do that. Um, All right y'all, so I just got out here to, they have cute little stuff out here too. They have like cute little shops that you could come to. It's the same place as last time. Hey. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get a petty and a mani. A small, um, white. Yeah. sprouts again i mean sprouts is cool because it's organic food but me personally i like to save money and i don't feel like you save money at sprouts they don't have a membership and honestly for what i spent i couldn't even find what i wanted like i couldn't find anything literally i couldn't find noodles i couldn't find nothing i guess because you got to make your own ramen noodles i guess because sprouts is everything is organic which is cool I, I i respect that but girl i'm sticking to my kroger's because i was just lost in there but i did like some of the stuff that i got i'm not gonna lie um and i'm gonna show y'all girl what i got from sprouts because i'm also about to cook tonight too so i made some well i made girl yeah i made some turkey breasts girl i made them but no, I got some turkey breasts for my sandwiches. I got chicken breasts for my sandwiches. I got me some sliced ham, but it looks like it's a little broken. So y'all over here charging people all this money for cheese and it's broken up. Whatever. And then I got me my coochie coos, my stuff for my coochie coo board. I got me some salami, some pepperoni, whatever those things are, and some cheese. And then I got me some all wheat organic hot dog buns, some brownies for my brownie, and then some wheat bread. I got me some cucumbers, girl. I'm joking, don't do that, don't do that. 
I got me some turkey hot dog buns, some turkey bacon. Let me throw this away. Girl, salut. Let's see what else I got. Oh, before I get anything, girl, I'm gonna eat me my taquitos. Hmm. My little appetizers. Mm, 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 Hungry. And then I gotta go to Kroger's and get all my condiments because, girl, I was at Sprouts and I could not figure it out. They, I couldn't find regular butter to save my life. They had all this organic. Sea salt butter and stuff. I just couldn't get jiggy with it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so now did I say turkey bacon? <clears throat> See what else we got? Some fruit for breakfast. Some of you making eggs, turkey bacon, fruit. Grits and some waffles. Some grapes, green grapes, some pickles for my sandwiches. Potato salad for a side. I need all condiments. I need to go get all condiments. Some baby spinach for my sandwiches and for a side. I got me some oat milk, organic oat milk, and loose apple. Mad that came out, but it's okay. I'm gonna wash it off. Some Brussels sprouts. These are my. I, this is my favorite vegetable by far. Some carrots for Papa Cairo. Some bell peppers. Some pizza, and I got um, I got cheese pizza, and then I got. It's made with cauliflower. It's Italian sausage pizza. You know, girl, I was just trying something different. I mean, I guess, I guess. And then I got me some toasted rice and bean cereal. It's gluten-free, plant protein. Girl, I've never had this cereal before in my life. Like I said, I'm never shopping at Sprouts again. Not that I have anything against Sprouts. I just personally have never ate. I'm not the organic brand type, so I'm not. Just like how you don't like to go out to eat sometimes. I mean, sometimes you like to try new stuff, but sometimes if you try new stuff, it's not what you like. And so therefore you regret it. And personally, I'm not used to any of these brands. So I would have to reprogram the way I shop for food in order to be comfortable with these foods because I just don't know what's going on. I've never seen these brands before. And girl, whatever. I just like, I'm gonna have to get used to shopping at Sprouts or just go back to Kroger's because so far I wish I would've went to Kroger's. Got me some corn on the cob for the sides. Got me some cabbage, because my guy loves cabbage. I'm gonna make some for him tonight. Some more apples. And I got some organic ranch, I guess. For my guy, because he like ranch, girl. See, look, I'm already disappointed because there's nothing here. Some bar, and then I got us uh, some ice cream. I got him mint ice cream and me butter pecan. So yeah, that's about $207 worth of groceries, which I will never ever do that again because I didn't get no juices. I didn't get no water. I couldn't find a juice. Honestly, I didn't see juice anywhere. And then I see now the alkaline water, I already have water. 
no noodle. Like I didn't really get anything. And I spent almost $300 on this. So I definitely will not be going back there again. I'm gonna stick to Kroger's. Because how did I just spend $300 on bread, cheese, and vegetables, and some meats? And fruit. Fruit and veggies shouldn't be that expensive. Cheese, definitely not. Bread, I mean, wheat bread, I feel it. Organic food, okay, cool, but this is not worth $300 worth of food. Not even close. So yeah, disappointed, but it's cool. I won't do it again. I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can cook up tonight because I don't have any condiments really and I couldn't find any condiments that I was used to. <laughs> like I couldn't even find butter. All I kept finding was organic butter. And then look, this cost nine to $10, but every single piece of cheese is, is broken. Every cheese slice is broken. So what am I, what am I, what am I really paying ten dollars? Hush, hush. Bye. Like what am I really paying ten dollars for when there's only like five pieces of cheese in here that are not ruined? Oh, so frustrating, but whatever. I'm gonna roll a little blunt, put the shit up get to some money, cook. Well, no, I'm gonna get some money later. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again. But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need you most We got love guaranteed and I have to know Say, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't be so hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you'll be Cause I gotta know Let me know when you're ready Cause I made reservations Too many invitations And the last night was heavy. heavy I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay Hide away from me when I need you most We got love guaranteed and I have to know Say, where are you? Where, where are you? Where, where are you? Hey. Don't be so hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you be Cause I gotta know Any night, any day Let me take you away all I need is you saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where, where are you? Where, where are you? Baby Don't hide away from me When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know Say So hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you'll be Cause I gotta know
Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.